streaming live across the globe to nerds around the nation. Everything Noob starts now. Welcome to the Everything Noob Podcast. Yay! Yay! I'm Vortac. That's Jenny. Um, oh. No! Oh, okay, go ahead. I'm not here tonight. Oh, I'm boom. sorry, I didn't mean to call you. Go ahead. We have Boombody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then Lido. Mm-hmm. Hello. That Lido guy. Yeah. That guy. He's down it's the good. line. It's good. <laughs> it's good, it's good. So, <laughs> how's it going? I can't answer much of that Irish whiskey. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm just uh, in a good mood. Sure. That's what they all say. <laughs> Well, I did want to thank everybody for responding to us on Twitter. We had a Twitter question posed, what's your favorite free game? And that's the topic for for tonight, what what our favorite free-to-play games are, because we found one that was really cool over the weekend and uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. thought it would be appropriate to talk about. So, first things first, the game that I'm obsessed with right now, Warframe. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's very no, fun. You've been like spewing this all over every medium. Everybody should yeah. get it. Everybody should play with you. Yes. I have a Steam it group. Is so it is. And I'm telling them, get this game. We can all, you know, I can start up a party. The only thing I don't like is you can only have four people total p- or playing it, like max. That's typical. That's typical. It's typical. I, I don't know. So, it'd so be cool to really, play with like so ten. Really just send people up, so you really just send people up to, for failure. Why? <clears throat> Why? Because if only four people can play... And 20 people down on the game want to play with you. What about the other people? Well, it works the in other, live streams. The, the other 16 people, basically. They can still play. You give them the finger <laughs> saying, you can't play with me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, what I did in the live stream is I had, I think, 10 people downloaded it while I was doing my live stream. Six and people we, not being able to play with you from right there. Bam. Yeah. Actually, no, 17. Bam. We did one round, which the rounds are pretty short. They're manageable. And then three people left voluntarily. I'm like, okay, a few people should leave so some more new ones can join. And they're like, okay. And they left and new people came. And if it's if it's civil, civil it works out pretty well. So mm-hmm. it was fun, though. And it's basically it's a combination of like ten different games. I, I can compare it to so many different things. Oh, yeah, true. I, I think the, the best comparison would be maybe Left 4 Dead a little bit. Except, well, because it's Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead's first person. This yeah, is kind of like uh, Gears of War, over third the shoulder, person. shoulder, yeah. third person. Ah, uh, third person. Yeah. It's, you, it's After you get used to the controls, it actually works really well. The, con- the default controls yeah. suck. I don't know what they were thinking with those default controls, but I had to redo them. I almost picked up a controller because I got so confused. But I think the two flaws with it would be that, which is fixable. And then the menus are super confusing. I don't think the menus are confusing. I, I think for trying to upgrade well, your character, it's overbearing. I, I wish they had a tutorial for like adding the mods. Oh, when you're to when you're adding mods, when you're adding mods, it says that you have you you're able to put two mods in or a a, a level two mod. You you put the level two mod and it don't go in. You're going why it's not? It's not a level two mod. It's two points for two that points. mod. Two points. Okay, that that yeah, mod is two points. There's a point buy yeah. system with the mods. But they have these little symbols in each of the boxes. I don't know what those mean. All I know is when I, I sometimes... No, I don't know what the symbols mean. I can't figure that one out. I put a 10-pointer in there, and it split it in half and made it a 5. So I'm guessing that you Oh, can... maybe yeah, each slot has a point value to we're, it. We're talking about something that nobody understands yeah, what the yeah, heck we're, we're nope. talking <laughs> No one understands who hasn't nope. played it. That <laughs> anyway, it's, it's fun, though. If you're confused, it, if you're confused, that's how we feel when we're playing it. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's like gun but mods that, and Call of Duty, essentially, if you boil it down. It's the same kind of concept. It's just a matter, yeah, it's just a matter of just trying to figure the system out. Once you get used to the system, then it's easy. Um, but, yeah. Well, basically, uh, other than that, it's fun. You're, you're this alien race who goes on missions, and you get sent Potato. to different... You, you get sent into different space stations, and you just do missions, and then you get extracted, and that's the whole game. And you can get your friends together... And yeah, you just every time you play, you get XP and you get money to buy new guns. And the game runs; it's basically fueled off of microtransactions. That's that's the whole thing. That's me. That's what this whole podcast is going to boil down to as well. It, how how games are using? I don't know. I've been seeing it a lot more. More and more games are using microtransactions to offer a free free content 
and this game is really good for a free game. Well, the thing yeah, is, is. The, you, you have two different schools for microtransactions, and thankfully, there were a lot of games that were that were pay to win, or yeah. pay for power. And thankfully, a lot of those games just don't are are not getting as popular because there are so many choices for uh, for balance games. I mean, if you take say um, Blacklight Retribution, which is a uh, FPS, a free to play FPS. You basically gain in-game money when you, you know, for for playing around. Yeah. After you play a few rounds, you're able to then you actually you're able to get a little bit of money, uh, in-game currency, and then you can go over to the store and they have what's really nice is they have these like, um, like I, I don't know how they pick them, but they're like user submissions for like awesome guns, uh, and you can basically rent them for like a day with like, you know, for a little bit of money, for a little bit of in-game money. Or you could use a lot of in-game money or X amount of, of actual money to have it permanently. But, I mean, really what, what, what you're able to do is go play a couple rounds, and even if you do shittily, you'll, you'll still be able to get, you know, a really awesome gun and then run through and be on par with all the people that, that spend a lot of time and... Or that pay, or, or that pay for it, because there's no. Even though you can go into the store and, and spend money and buy things, there it's nothing that that if someone who didn't spend a single penny on the game could get. It's not pay to win. Yeah, it is but not like, pay to win. Like I was explaining earlier about this game called Project Blackout, which was originally called Point Blank, and that one there is a true pr- play to win because you don't get the option to get these guns that you can purchase in the game in any way. Uh, you have to purchase them from the market and you have to use real money to do so. Um, and so and, and they're a lot more powerful than the guns that you can normally get. So uh, that th- this game is definitely not what you're talking about, this Project Blackout. But uh, there's a lot of games like that too that... Well, yeah, there me. are. But, I can't play them. I think but thankfully <laughs> more and more games are are people people the consumers consumers are getting smarter and people are getting getting kind of wise to pay to win and pay for power and and a lot of people just when they when they find that out will just you know just not play it anymore. I don't really think that's yeah. what it is. I think it's the pay for win. A lot of people are willing to pay. And then they get bored with it because they're at the top already. That well, I mean, yeah, but those don't those don't create create long lasting successful titles, like say League of Legends. You know, is not a pay to win. Uh, you can unlock everything as far as character wise, uh, character and runes and and all the different things you 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 progress. So you don't have to spend any money. But if you do, you can get cosmetic things or you can get. Some cha- you can unlock some things faster than you would through normal progression, and and that's that's really a good solid framework in that a lot of companies and a lot of games are doing now. I know Friday night uh, was it Friday night Com- <laughs> Super Monday Night Combat or whatever had the same kind of, of issue, and it's just it's 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 a lot it's a lot better of a game if uh, if if they don't go with pay to pay for power, and they're a lot yeah. more successful. I know for me, for a long time, for many years, I was looking for an alternative to World of Warcraft, and there was a lot of games out there that were free to play, um, kind of M- MMORPG type style stuff, right? Talking about like the Korean, the and, Korean style, but of yeah, oh, and, and, and they were they were kind of that way where they had microtransactions, and you can get these you know special swords that were super powerful. You know, again, play to win or play for power. Um, until I found Runes of Magic, and when I found Runes of Magic, I was like, wow, this is great, because the only thing that they you can get are costumes, pets, um, you can get, you can boost your XP so that you can catch up with your friends or whatever, you can boost your, you know, uh, they got dyes, they've got transmutations so that you can take your costume and transmute it to, say, set armor that you already have, stuff like that. And that's the kind of game I like. One that I and then there's also those transmutation stones or whatever they call them, those runes. You can still get in game while you play as you're progressing through the game. You can still get these things without having to pay a dime, and they're 
uh, their in-game currency is gold, and then their out-of-game currency is called diamonds. And now you can, or I mean not now, but I mean they did this a while ago, you can buy diamonds with gold coin, or vice versa. You can buy gold coin with diamonds, that, or whatever really you want to do. That's really important, that... And being able to mix and match those things, and so they got a pretty good, strong economy that way in the game. It's pretty, it's 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 good, but that's that's what you're talking about. I mean, you're talking about games where, and Warframe might be, I'm guessing, might be one of those games where um, you would be able to. But I noticed that there's two uh, values. There's there, the well, there's two values. There's platinum and there's credits. Credits you earn while you play. Platinum is obviously the stuff you can buy. But right. what I've noticed is certain items have, they're either you know a few hundred platinum or a few thousand credits. And th that's important. I think if if you're going to offer a game that's truly free, you need to give people at least the opportunity to buy the stuff that people who pay money for, you know, people who pay money to buy. Right, right, that, right. You know, it's obviously you can get it a lot faster if you spend your money, but you can't make it feel like the people, like like kids who can't spend money, you can't make them feel like, oh my gosh, you know, pay to, it's pay to win. I can't, I can't, I don't have a credit card. What am I supposed to do? And, uh... That's really important. Now, the thing about Warframe, though, is there's certain things that only cost platinum, in it, but I think those are, like you were saying, purely cosmetic, and, and things that show that you... They basically represent how much you've supported the game. That's how I look at microtransactions. If you love the it's game... well worth it, yeah. Yeah. If you love the game and want to see it grow, you support it that way instead of paying a monthly fee, and you just even doing it once helps them a ton, because it the all adds up. The one thing I think... I think I read somewhere one thing that people are up in arms about is, see, when you die, you get, I think, four revives. After those four revives are up, you can purchase more revives through the market, yep. but you can only do that with um, real money. You can't do that with in-game transa transaction, which people are kind of up in arms about that. But w we experienced it. I used all my revives. And I was still able to play, so I'm not sure how that works. I guess what it means die, is though. you didn't die that you last time. Out. That last time, yeah. I, I'm curious. We'll have to experiment with that. You're probably out for I want to know hours at that point. Well, you're probably out of that mission. You can't complete that mission, and then, then you have to start over. I'm thinking that's how mm, it works. No. Well, there was. I mean, that 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 is something that is prevalent. That has been prevalent in other quote unquote games because you have had. Um, War Z. Uh, War Z, where your character would die for X amount of hours. Yeah. I'm not saying that's an actual game. I'm just saying there's precedence well, in, the a, in a virtual game-like simulation yeah. of a program. Well, that's good. I, I like that. That's, there's a high risk factor there because, like, oh, crap, if I die sure. again, i got to get good at this and game, otherwise I won't be able to too. play it. Huh? And you lose True, all whatever yeah. your gear Thank was, you too. Enough. Yeah. Four revives, that's pretty good. So you get to revive yourself four times. If you run out, you don't get... I think they recharge every 24 hours in, the, in yes. Warframe. So you can't play for 24 hours if you manage to die four times, unless you want to go buy Platinum or spend... They give you like 50 to start out with, and it only costs six Platinum to get four revives. So, I mean, you if you just save Platinum for only emergency reviving, you could still play and not spend any money. True, so that people, is true. I don't like people getting up in arms like that. That shows real uh, douchebaggery entitlement there. Like, oh, I'm entitled to play your free game. That's super awesome. Yeah, true. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Like, I mean, they no, got a those... for sale, and it's a lot. It's, it's a costly. beautiful game. If you never buy anything from them, though, I mean, your bandwidth that's costing them. Yeah. So, like, while it's word of mouth, and you enjoy the game, like, this kind of keeps the bandwidth down on all the free players if they can only play so much a day. And that's all dependent on their skill level. Yeah. Yep. That is true, yeah. It, ta it takes care of the, you know, kicks off some of the people for at least 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think it's yeah. a really cool way to, to do a free game. You know, give people uh, a, a reason to buy credits and you still don't have to pay anything you can you just have to wait a few hours you have to wait a day to play yeah. it again and by that time you've probably raged so much from losing your revives you don't want to play anyway like oh, i need a break from this anyway that's Even that's how i am decent at warframe yeah. four revives is a good couple hours of playing i think so at least i think i played we played well, i played a little bit beforehand we used to revive for two hours last and night. then we played for 2 hours so what i'd say about 3 almost 4 hours of gameplay with my four revives. 
Yeah, and then you get better. You get no. better guns, and you, you upgrade, so you die less. I don't know. I think it's fair. I think it's like putting upgrade quarters in a, in a Pac-Man yeah. arcade game. And True, yeah. You can you can play for a while, but if you just keep dying, then you you know there goes your you quarters. you got three lives, you're, that's it. If you play a little bit more, you can gain... Another, maybe you can gain revives. No, I don't know. It, it's it, actually it says a limit of four. It really reminds it's me of an arcade, like an arcade style game. Yeah, and I like that. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of neat. And it's helped supporting the the game developers, you know, or the game company because they really made a nice game. I mean, it's you know, I I I would I could I would, I, would, I could see myself actually paying for this game. That's how good it is. I'm just glad it's I was free. surprised <laughs> when he told me to look at it. I was like, "Oh man, what pixely piece of crap is this gonna be tonight?" It's, and it, it's all—it's kind of like Halo, but it's not PvP, which is kind of interesting. Oh, and these these uh, uh, NPCs are smart. They hide behind things. The AI. Oh, doing. the rescue oh, mission. Man, yeah. The AI is freaking good. Yeah, they're really good. They did a good job on that. No, they they did something really cool for Easter too. All the enemies are wearing uh, little rabbit ears, and then they <laughs> and, had big and there's Easter, Easter eggs around. laying around, like with goodies in them. That would explode into more Easter eggs. <laughs> it's yeah. funny they they you know they have a sense of humor about it too, but the game itself looks super you know serious and and brutal. Yeah, yeah. And then there's Easter eggs <laughs> and bunny ears. Like what the hell? It doesn't People fit at all. People have holiday events. <laughs> no, it's we awesome. We know some some graphical glitches, like for instance the, the the blood that would spurt, you know, would kind of float in the air. So, I mean, they're still working. It's still beta. So, but other what? than that, it, graphics are awesome. Yeah, there's blood. You what? Blood? No, I saw sparks flying, but I never saw blood. Yeah, remember the blood that glitched in the air? That's one like one of their bugs. Like I think Leto was slaughtering something, and blood was splattering, but it like froze in midair. Oh. Melee. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you get this katana. If you're out of ammo, you just run up and start slashing. And the katana is pretty clunky. They need to work on it because they tried to incorporate this really smooth movement system. So if you run and jump off something, your character's supposed to like do these poses in the air. And uh, and they tried to make it so that works really well. But then you get a katana, and it's they're trying to give your character style as he's hitting, and it's just so clunky. They they didn't do it right. But yeah. It's That's obviously with beta. With most and... shooter games, though, melee is usually never satisfying. I think the best melee I've ever played in any game, and I'm sure this will, my answer will change. But the shooter it's... game, though. It's not a shooter. a shooter game no. where it doesn't count. No, because I'm talking about smooth movement with a sword. Uh, I think uh, Kingdom Hearts comes to mind, but I'm trying to think of other games with smooth Far movement. Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3. I haven't played that. Do that does that have like good melee Movement. I like the melee, and it's got Dead a really Island good... Dead Island had good melee. <laughs> it was fun. It was really Damn. fun. You're so funny. I got that on my wish list. You're so funny. Come <laughs> on, lobbing off heads of zombies is fun. Uh, you're so funny. It's Dead Island, it not good. It was good. a fun game. <laughs> Boom Body has terrible taste in games. Would you really trust him? I'm, okay, I I'm not touching time. that one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know what? Hey, Radwing, uh, he gifted me XCOM. That's a pretty cool to game, each too. Their own. XCOM? XCOM. I, you know, I've heard so much about XCOM, I don't even know I what it is. I got it for free for, like, Bioshock Infinite, and I have no it's idea fun. what it's it is. It's fun. I didn't think I'd like it, but I like it. What, what is XCOM? <clears throat> but anyway, I was just there. It Please. is a turn-based... It's, it comes from a long time ago they came out with it. it and, I mean, a... years ago there was a version of it. It's a turn-based strategy shooter. Oh, I'll never play that then. It's 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 very interesting. There's a cover system and there's a, basically a hit percentage system, and you it's it's hard to explain. It's basically, a turn-based strategy game with with guns hmm. and troops. Yeah, totally gonna give that one a miss. You're fighting aliens. Yeah, you fight aliens. Uh, no, to be honest, though, it's pretty well done. No, I hate strategy that's, games. That's what I've that, heard. Though. I've heard that it's turn based, and then I went ugh, and everyone's like, "No, no, it's not what you think." And I haven't. I haven't it is turn based that. though. I like I mean, turn based games. Go but go watch the videos games, on it. I don't it. like it. Go watch they the videos to, on it. It's pretty and good. tedious. Now, before they came out with this, they were trying to make it a first person shooter, and uh, they even came out with I don't know I don't know if they came out with anything that they uh, gave out to 
Like, I think there was like an alpha version that they gave out to a few people to try. Those people probably flopped. complained. They, they probably it said, flopped. no, that's, this said, isn't the no XCOM way. I know. It's not XCOM, yeah, this yeah. is not the same. And so they, they scrapped the project and they, they were working on this. And they came out with this version and it's awesome. It's pretty good. But I would have liked to play the first person version. That would have been fun. <laughs> See, but that'd be like every other game, though. Every other first person shooter. And there's not a lot of games like XCOM, it sounds like, out there. I see more first-person shooters, personally. Because they sell. And yeah. sell well. Yeah, of course. They do really well. And I don't like it. <laughs> there, uh, everyone's telling me, you got to get Arma 3. I'm like, Arma now? Aren't there... I mean, it's pretty good. You, you Aren't can play Daisy. Enough... I don't care about Daisy. Aren't there enough uh, first-person shooters? You don't care shooters? about killing zombies? No, I'm tired of zombies. Zombies suck. Why is everyone so flippin' obsessed with flippin' zombies? Seriously, well, they are, are we, actually... Can whoa, we be whoa, over whoa, zombies? They don't actually suck. Whoa, they uh, eat we'll, flesh, we'll ahead, but okay. We'll, we'll go ahead and give you a moment. We'll give you a moment there. <laughs> I'm tired of zombie movies. That, re- redact that I'm tired of zombies. I'm tired of zombies in general. Like Whenever whenever the zombie bursts out of the closet and eats your face... <laughs> I'll just I see zombies off. every like, day when they come in the zombie, store. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to, every, no, here's what I don't like. I don't like how zombies have become like this thing where you, the zombie apocalypse is something that isn't going to happen because it's fictional. However, um, there's so many zombies. See, this is, he's going to say, no, 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 it can happen. That's what I hate. You can't, you can have people who are altered, but they're not going to be te- real zombies. It, uh, zombie is undead. It is Vortex. a thing Vortex. that is res Vortex. from the grave. Vortex. Vortex. No. There, there are four are... times. There are four different zombie apocalypse. Oh my god! See, this is what I don't like. Because <laughs> people Here have made it real. And you're Here saying you're go. saying none of those. You're saying none of the four can 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 possibly ever happen. No, zombies are stupid. <laughs> okay, They're, it's okay. people. So just so, taking, so, hold on, hold on. Ugh, so, so you're calling yourself. So you're calling yourself a a a a. a I don't believe in zombies. No, you're a fortune teller. You you, you see the future. You you you're you're the prophet, right? No, I'm the person who makes fun of the prophet. Then, then how can then how can then how can you say it will never happen? I can't say it will never happen. But you just said I think it. we need to start a religion. Religion. Zombies are never going to happen. Church of zombies. Rewind the video. <laughs> rewind the audio, and and it's someone because... quotes this in because I believe I heard zombies will never happen. Yeah, they're not real. They'll never happen. I did say that. I shouldn't, okay. but I did because did. it's fucking it's sci-fi. It's sci-fi for it's science fiction, and everyone. Okay. Anyway, so was I. I hate it. <laughs> regardless, so, so was... in Star Trek, regardless of what you believe, iPad. that's it's just this one thing I hate <laughs> that everyone's obsessed with the zombie apocalypse. How about the fact that people yeah. want to nuke us? I don't know wars, real things that could happen, and then there's zombies. Like really? Well, everyone's like, I can't wait for the zombie perfect. apocalypse. What are you insane? <laughs> All, all, all I'm nuts. saying. I got my Twinkies. Where's yours? All, all I'm saying. <laughs> all I'm saying back. is if if you if you go check out Chernobyl, there's some pretty questionable things in Chernobyl. All right, and that's pretty, their problem. Pretty questionable. Okay, well, well that uh, base that base that on a nuclear apocalypse. Nuclear okay. apocalypse. If, there, if there's a nuclear, okay, if, 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 we're if, all if, dead. If, and we're not going to rise back we're from not the dead. All dead. How are we all dead? Uh, whoever gets hit by the nuke is dead. They're not going to okay. rise from the dead and start eating people. The okay, dead. but the Die nuclear fallout. But the nuclear fallout. Okay, so if it hits a major city and it gets obliterated, we're obviously going to have to go into there at some point. Why? And 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 Stay try to, to salvage. What are you and nuts? Well, you got to salvage the radioactivity. No, no way. The hell out of here. No, no, not 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 Thursday after the bomb hits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking three days after the We're bomb. We're not going to go loot eventually a radiation-filled city. Do you know how eventually, long it would take? Eventually, you're going to have to go in there. I mean, no, no. no. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're talking many years on. Okay, I'm going to pay the, the guy now, to go now in there. We're, now we're now we're in the hypothetical. Now we're in the hypothetical whatnot. The the issue is the issue <laughs> hypothetical is, whatnot. <laughs> the issue <laughs> is zombies. the issue. Well, because look at Chernobyl. I mean, that's 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 quasi zombie activity. What? Have you not seen the animals there? The pictures, the proof. I can't say I've been there. Don't but... mean squat. Well, scientists research and why not? the skin. Photoshop. <sighs> Chernobylphotoshop.com. 
You're going to get eaten first by the zombies. <laughs> that's and fine, and that's totally cool because then I deserve it. But You deserve it. But <laughs> I think zombies are stupid. I'm sick of... I'm sure The Walking Dead is a fantastic show, and I actually do want to watch it, but I'm not interested no, you in zombies right now. I really, you, don't, you don't deserve to watch The Walking I Dead. I don't, but I don't care. <laughs> I'll do what I want. I'm so sick of zombie games. I'm sick of everything. Okay, well, what, 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 what do you uh, replace? What do you replace? I think them? I'm going to crash. Real games? I don't know. Better games? It's, I'm just tired of zombies. Easy, okay, what theme an, are you really enjoying right now? What okay. theme are you enjoying? Aliens, fantasy, wizards. Grand Theft Auto. Criminal com- activity. Like, I'm looking forward to the new Grand Theft Auto game. Okay, there's been 12 of those. And there's no so, zombies. Suburban modern crime. Yes. There have been 12. There have been like 12, what, 12, 13 Grand Theft Autos? Is it different? Is it different than Grand Theft Auto 3 or Vice City? Yeah. Other than graphics, is it not the same game? Is it not concept, go beat up but it, they, they add Is it to not it. go beat up hookers and shoot cops? I, what, 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 does that become an argument? Far enough. I'm just saying, I'm asking you a question. Is it not go beat up, beat up hookers and shoot cops? No. Well, yeah, it's all this. Look, yeah, I know. I'm not disagreeing with that. Okay, well, go play Saints Row then, if you want to. Yeah, Saints Row stupid. I thought Saints Saints Row Row one and two were great. Three was Lito's like, I love Saints Row. I'm leaving. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, totally bailed. uh, He said he was gonna freeze. He said he was crashing. The the thing is though, right? Like, I I don't know. I I don't know why you Uh play video games. I play video games for things I can't do in real life. No, yeah, and that's fair. I just that's think why I like sci-fi games, and that's why I like medieval games. Every other show like on RPGs. television, every other show on television, every movie, every other movie, every other game, it just feels like zombies are too are trending too much. And you can't say die in a fire about zombies because that's kind of redundant. So they need to just go away. They need to go to well. The thing like, is Chernobyl. The or thing is, pay the guy. You need to go. You need bring to, to another city. Then, then you. Then what's your what's your? I forgot why. What do you, what do you bring to the table then? What 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 should be at the table next than zombies? What is, and don't say I don't know. Don't say what I don't needs know. to replace zombies? Why did no? They just need to go away, and then we could play other games. There's plenty no, of see, other things that we could play in place of them. Something has to be trending. Why? Because that's how everything works. Nothing was trending before the internet. There was things that were popular, but no one before the internet. We didn't know what we a didn't trend. We had video games and shit before the internet, and we wouldn't even be. Yeah, we, we did. Even we had all. Had a, we had none of us. Whoa! Real video Our games, arcade, really arcades. Bad. We had okay. We had movies. Okay. We had celebrities doing stupid things. We had everything before the internet, but there was never a trend. The media never took it and said, "Look, everybody, everyone loves this." Sure, they did. Sure they did. Well, they, but it was tiny communities. The there was no. mass communication has. Okay, you know, well we're we're, we're in mass communication and we're past we're past saying if mass communication didn't exist because I'm just I saying mean, that there's a lot wanna, of people I know who are like me who are tired of zombie games and zombie okay, movies well, and zombie well, TV shows. Okay, well then you, you but then we're you not don't trending. watch them. Well, I know. Then I don't. just don't watch them and don't play them. I know. It was just my zombie rant. Or bring or or bring something to <laughs> the trend. <laughs> No, the there doesn't need to be rant. a trend. Trending's stupid. Trending is stupid, but that's the way the world works. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't have to. You it doesn't have head. to. Yeah, it doesn't have to. But you know <laughs> what? You said. need to trend it. You need to trend it to where you need to make it popular enough for for things not to trend. So you need to trend not trending. I wish I had emo glasses right <laughs> you now. Need to fix it. <laughs> I'm gonna hashtag trend not, not trending. trending. Exactly. The most redundant. Hashtag not trending. Everything hashtag new. Hashtag not trending. Hashtag no more trends. <laughs> oh man, hashtag not trending is going to be like the coolest thing ever. That's going to catch on. Like, mm, yep. I, I need no to talkies. Catch on. Oops. I'm not trending, not trending. I'm going to trend not trending right now. Hashtag not... lonely vortex. Don't trend on me. <laughs> Don't trend on me. Are we Are we really yeah. going that far back? <laughs> Don't trend me, bro. <laughs> No, don't, <laughs> don't, don't trend don't, me, bro. Don't don't trend on me. Are we really going back to the American Revolution? Free you know what trend you? <laughs> just trend you. <laughs> All right. Why don't we read the responses? I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If, 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 if you, you believe, if you believe that 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 it will go away without something taking its place. Well, look at the Harlem Shake. 
what took the Harlem Shakes place? It came and it went in a week. What? Well, yeah, took that's its place? something. That's a, that's like the 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 Gangnam Dance. And, yeah, the Gangnam and Dance. Things. No, these, that's these okay. These are fads. These 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 are trending fads that are in action. People aren't paying. I, I don't I, I I don't go out and buy a Harlem Shake T-shirt, or I don't go out and buy I the Harlem Shake video game. I'm sure that someone makes them. I don't go out and buy <laughs> the Harlem <laughs> Shake <laughs> season one. I don't go out. And, I don't go out to the movies and see Harlem Shake episode, you know, part three, the Harleming worst movie ever, <laughs> best movie ever. But I don't go buy the game. I don't go buy the Harlem Shake game where I where I play the Harlem Shake. It's 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 it's, it's a meme. It's what it is. It's a meme. I know. I'm yeah. just saying. There's no big YouTube trend after the Harlem Shake right now. Harlem Shake. I'm sure there's Harlem Shake. Not yet. There will be. There will be, yeah. Lady Gaga will do something really stupid, and it'll be a big. <laughs> but trend. I mean, the thing is, though, you're not. You're not. Uh, well, I I can't. I, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> but you're just gonna be like, no, no, no. You won't. You won't. Yeah. Uh, if you're not gonna present, we're talking about nothing, honestly. Um, if you're not gonna present a valid counterpoint, then I'm. I'm, I'm not I'm, because I'm, I'm just angry about zombies right now. Warframe well, right watch now them. is a good example. We're not fighting zombies. zombies. Who's forcing you to watch zombies? Who's strapping you down in the Can chair? Can we bring superheroes back? The superheroes are coming back. I mean, they haven't. I don't Actually, think they left. I think they're on their way well, out. Speaking of free to play, like, I'm going well, to download DC Spider-Man Universe. Spider-Man and stuff. I think they're on their way out. That looks like a good game. Oh, DC really? Universe are you going to play with me? I'll DC play. I'll, I'll go download it. That was crap. I don't that know. I like. Fun. I want to fly. Uh, it, okay, it's, it's a good game if you have a PlayStation. That's about it. I enjoy it on PC. It is not the same as playing it on 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 PS. It's Why? Game made for it's because it was made for PS3. Was it really? So? Yes. I didn't know that. It was yeah, a it bad. Was. It was a bad platform. It was a bad cross platform. How is it bad? It was. It was a What's port wrong port. with it? It was a very poor port. I don't know what they're talking about. It works great. I don't it know what your problem port. is. It was a very poor port. No, I I'll have it. to try it. And see what it, 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 it was made for PC for... as well as worked just as good on keyboard. DC Universe, you never heard of that, Dan? Oh, DC Universe. You know, I, yeah, I've yeah, heard of that. Yeah, like I just missed what you said. With, uh, yeah. And it's free to play, which is yeah. on topic. Well. <laughs> <laughs> just because it's free to play doesn't mean it's good. No, it's a really good yeah. game, and it's really fabulously uh, pretty. I couldn't, I couldn't keep on for more than a week. <laughs> a lot of RPGs That's... do that to me, though. Now on the, on the subject why, of, on the like subject free of to play. free to play on the subject of free to play, okay, there 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 is a small tiny step that people can take, uh, and and not um, spay and neuter your pets. Well, there's that, of course. Oh, but there is there. I mean, if people are if you're if you're wanting to if you're wanting new games, wild and pray, not, private servers, and you're not a signing up for betas. B checking out Kickstarter, or or C Steam. Uh, keeping an eye out for 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 Steam, GOG, Gamers Gate, uh, Green Man Gaming sales, all wonderful. Ways. If you can't find a game right now, literally there there are some games. I mean, I believe that I believe I truly believe when it comes to non free to play games that you the, the money you put in does. Directly uh, um, equate out to how much time you will enjoy the game. On most games, not all, most. It I depends. Mean, if you go, if well, okay, if you're bad with money and you just put well, like a hundred dollars into a game and then forget about it. Well, yeah, there's that. So but excluding I mean, those examples. Well, no, I'm saying like, okay, let's let's say, all right, okay, so you go on Steam and you buy Bioshock or you buy. Uh, Far Cry Three or whatever, full title, oh, full, full price games. Saying okay, full price games, or and then you go look for, uh, you know, DLC Quest, which is like I think a three dollar game or something. Yeah, or or you're getting into Star Forge Alpha, which uh, unless they change so much of it, I don't think I can even play because it was it really wasn't that great a year ago. They've um, changed a lot. You need to see it. Have they? Have they, they? Yeah. I oh, mean, God. but there, but but I mean, if if you if you follow like, Torchlight Two right now is ten bucks. Mm-hmm. Not a bad price. Not a bad game. Now it's on Steam Workshop. I mean, 
everything. There's stuff on sale all the time. In fact, let me let me just go look right now on sale. Well, yeah, Torchlight Two's half off. off. Um, I would not. Better than which one? Diablo, th- Diablo Three. Well, yeah, but it's not better than Diablo Two. See, I think I know where you're going no, with this Diablo 2. because I I I'm going to use Minecraft as an example. I paid what twenty dollars for Minecraft when I bought it, and I've played right. that more than any game I've ever played in my life. Sure, I paid like five bucks for Minecraft. I play. I paid like uh, what was it like eight bucks or whatever for Kerbal Space Program when it when it was when that it was went starting up to get a lot. That game twenty two dollars right now. I believe that's nuts. I bought it at eighteen. Well, they've been adding a lot. They've been adding a lot, and they well, no. The thing is, they've added a lot since since it was like eight bucks. Oh, okay, they really have. Uh, but I mean, there and there are other games like early access games, like and I like the early access kind of thing. Um, and I think I think thirty is a little is a little a little much for an alpha, over thirty dollars for an alpha title is kind of a lot for Armor Three. I mean, I would see I'm twenty dollars, you know, anywhere from five to twenty dollars. In my opinion, is okay for is okay for a a. But a is decent. Armor Three a real alpha title? That's just pre-sales. They're, well, no, I mean you're able to play it right now. They're, they're going alpha. off yeah, that's the popularity like, of alpha. Really of alpha, though. And I mean, like Prison Architect is thirty bucks on Steam. It's I don't see more that. Like a beta. I, I paid fifteen dollars for it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, but is it a thirty dollar game though, Lido? I don't think it is. I think it's a fifteen dollar game. Yeah, that's a little much. Now I understand that that's they have a little to much. It's it about up, fifteen dollars. Bump it up to pay to pay uh, Valve their stuff. But I mean, there there are a lot of games that are cheap. But it is are, good though. It's a good that game. Are good. There are, there are cheap good games. I mean, Don't Starve is like twelve bucks. Fun little game. You get plenty. I got plenty hours of play out of it. DLC Quest is three dollars. I mean, that was that was you know that had its own kind of, of of fun to it. But I mean, if you're not if you're not like I said, check out uh, the early access for like um, I, I just checked it. Apparently, it's out of. You can't buy into it anymore. But Path of Exile, if you like Diablo games, the only downside to that is there's a uh, there's a uh, oh, what you call? I can't think of the name of it right now. The 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 this the the uh, the, 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 the tree the, the, that was in. That's all, folks. No, what was the thing in in uh, Final Fantasy X? I don't know. I've never played Final Fantasy. Sphere grid. Yeah, it's got a sphere grid in it. And other than that, it's a pretty solid game. Uh, as far as for an indie title, it's really good. But Path of Exile is free to play, as far as I know. I, I bought into it. I paid the and bought into the beta like for like ten bucks or whatever, um, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, there's also City of Steam. If you can't, uh, if you actually can't, don't have a good system and you want to play an MMO, it actually runs in your browser. Um, it's a really, really Ooh. awesome. Yeah. It's a really neat system, and it runs pretty well. And it, has, it has a very unique kind of kind of art style to it, but literally, you can do decent, like above average PvP play uh, through a web based browser. You'd be surprised, as long as you have a, and you don't even have to have a fantastic internet connection. You need a decent internet connection and like whatever the the, the current job is. And you can play a, a, a proper MMO, and yeah, it's, it has microtransactions, but it's a free to play. Yeah, I mean that's. Uh, I think I don't know. Microtransactions could be the future for MMOs. I it, mean, it, it seems like that's where they're going with it. I mean, but there's a fine line. Doing, well, there's microtransactions, and and above microtransactions, there's the content packs, and a lot of people are selling content packs. Yeah, expansions like Guild Wars One had so many expansions. I, I think I bought the second one and then I stopped buying into them. Like this game yeah, sucks. Yeah, but I'm you done. didn't. Yeah, I mean that that was the one thing I didn't like about um, Secret World is they put out a. It's very late. Late game is very heavy into the in, into the microtransaction, as far as for content patches. But the content patches are pretty good. And actually, I'm looking. City of Steam is actually. Go ahead, and I believe it's in an open game, open beta. So you should go check that out at cityofsteam.com. City of Steam. Yep. Yep. Nice. Speaking it's of, it's in the I show notes. Yet, I have yet to get. 
have yet to get any response from uh, Swarin from Starforge. Oh, yeah, Leto yeah. pitched in on Kickstarter for Starforge, and it totally uh, screwed him out of his copy of the game. I'm actually very, very upset with uh, the Duck Quest people, because I've yet to receive my Duck Quest, um, uh, my Duck Quest pre-order bonuses. So that's not right. You... Still hasn't told me they can't help me with my problem. Well, I've, I've sent I've sent two emails, and I don't know who to go to because literally, like, and it's not like it's like just the thing is with Kickstarter's the... wonderful. Kickstarter's <clears throat> all right. Yeah, Kickstarter's all, but Indiegogo is where I got Starforge from, and they wanted me to combine my account with Starforge account after all this. And when I did all that, I somehow got aced out of it. I, I still have all the information, all the emails from Indiegogo to prove that I, I'm actually a. Uh, you know, so I was supposed to get my family. stuff in September. Oof. I was supposed so, to yeah. get my. You my gotta pack. wonder if they just took the money and ran. Which can you do that? I got the game. Yeah. I got the game. Oh, I'm talking about your duck quest. Oh, you got it? I got my game, oh, okay. but I didn't get my. I did the thirty dollar because I wanted because the art they had a that the artist they have is pretty pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, uh, not anybody like super famous. Oh, okay. It, so um, you don't know anything else. But either. they're artists, and and they like if you go to the if you go like to their Kickstarter or whatnot, they had some, some you know some examples of his work, and I'm like, oh, these are these are really nice. I wouldn't mind hanging something with that. And I I was like, you know, something Doctor Who or Game of Thrones, you know, whatever you you know, that 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 would be nice. Um, but I was supposed to get uh, my custom drawing and my playing cards, and I never got either one of them. And so I'm like, you know. Maybe physical merchandise is just a little bit harder to produce, but they should really email well, you and follow up. They should say, oh, we're having some trouble getting the playing cards all figured yeah, out. Yeah, but no. I was... I mean, estimated delivery was 2012, and I mean, they hit their... I mean, their goal was 500, and they made, like, 6,000. Was but there was only 356 people. Unique drawing people. for every person, or was uh, it like a print? Let me see. Uh, no, hand drawn that could take custom, time. Custom, custom. Okay, a hundred custom drawings. Oh, okay. So the first uh, okay. hundred. 150. 152. 100, no, 151 is, is how many people got uh, the the stuff that I got. Okay. Um, they should really follow up. Like, but you know, but but even so, you have like that. I, I also did my my Reaper, right? And there were uh, I forget the exact number of how many people did the Reaper. Si over sixteen thousand people got the 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 pack I got, which was the most popular pack. It was the 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 hundred dollar like hundred miniatures um, pack, right? Where you get just crap tons of miniatures. <clears throat> That was they. They are only a. They're only possibly going to be a month to a month and a half off of their uh their their their, their promised date. Well, I think people on Kickstarter should really be careful. I mean that someone like me, if I were to spend thirty dollars and I'm promised these things and I never get them, that's going to make me lose faith in every Kickstarter I see. I'm going to think twice before I pitch my money. And even though that one person shouldn't screw it up for everyone, if enough people do it, people are going to lose faith in Kickstarter. Well, the thing is, you really you need to do your research. You need to you need to there see. There should be a feedback system or something. Oh, I don't there know is. how you would do that, but there is. I mean, you generally can... you do one Kickstarter and then you're done. So see, once it leaves Kickstarter and it goes into their own situation, now you can't deal with Kickstarter anymore. You're dealing with them, and if they don't respond to you, then you're kind of like stuck. You Maybe can't... past a certain threshold, a Kickstarter employee should get in on it. And like, no, and I'm pretty sure you it. can complain to them though, and, and and at least at least report the fraud. Because at that point, yeah. it's fraud. If if they, you know, well, I mean, how long had we had to wait for for Castle Story, Lido? No, I mean, Castle Forever. Story, and, and and Castle Story finally came out. But the thing is, right, they were like, when when people promise things, and it was uh, October, it was supposed to get the beta. Yeah, and. Uh, it was, that was supposed to be October. Now I understand it's a game and things get by, but the last update was like August. Hmm. Something like that. Yeah. I mean, they haven't done really much of anything. Uh, March. 
and and basically what we're playing is what they already had, I think. Yeah, yeah, because it is. They showed video of them playing it, and we're playing basically the same thing they were playing. So they really, since the Kickstarter started till now, there really isn't anything new or hasn't anything really changed. And they offer it. They that have is what I blame. bug patches. That's about it. They're too busy That's drinking not. wine and making love to women. <laughs> Well, why don't we look at our responses that from our question from Twitter earlier? Uh, I'm sure everyone's right. very patient. Let's do that. Yep. So we did get a few responses. I posed the question: What's your favorite free-to-play game? Uh, we have a response from Kate. I think the best free-to-play game is Worm. It's complex, detailed, and lots of fun. That is, if you're a patient person, you can still pay mm -hmm. to get across to get across to more things, but the free version doesn't limit too many things. Good point. Yeah. I think I don't like the level caps on the free version. They're too well. Low. The thing is, though, it's I don't know. I, I really don't know because even <laughs> even so, most of my skills are below twenty. I mean, other the ones I've yeah. been grinding. I got thirty wood cutting. I mean, and that was that I mean, wasn't I've got a that couple thirties, and I've got a couple forties. But I mean, legitimately, most of my skills, the actual ones that you actually use, cooking and and like like forestry and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, a lot well, of those well, are like like below twelve and, and yeah. below ten. They're still so, able I mean, to play, still able to do things. Some you know? the things you do more will cap faster, sure. But you know, I think it's, I think it's probably, and it doesn't say you can't play after that. You just right. can't. You you just won't progress in those skills above twenty. Yeah. And I think, and I think as far as as far as like, uh, you know, the free to play or the the you know the free version of it, I think it's just it's a lot better than most. You know, because what is WoW like? Free play up to like what level twenty or whatever. Oh, hello. How did... Oh, she crashed. Oh, okay. Double gym. I'm like, how did we get a fifth person? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is this sorcery? Uh, so they said worm. I we've talked about worm quite a bit. I like worm, and I you think... should check out the new worm series that started on feedersdigest.com. YouTube. <laughs> Minecraft for Digest. Minecraft for adults. YouTube dot, YouTube dot com adults. slash Feeders Digest. Minecraft for adults. Well, as well as possibly my Bioshock playthrough. Be sure to check that out. Which Bioshock? Infinite. When you're done with that, can we talk about it, please? I need to talk to somebody about that game. Only you if you beat Assassin's we Creed. Can... Or no, I think I think is you you played it and you want some you want someone to discuss it with, right? Uh, no, I, I understand it, but, like, there's things about that game that make me angry, and I can't really... Well, there are really... things that make me very angry about that game. Okay. But the thing is... Good. Okay, so... I mean, I think... Okay. So, you know, I mean, I think is... It just came out last week. Don't... No spoilers. Well, cause... no, I think these are some things we should talk about, because... <laughs> no, we're reading responses. We're doing comments next week. I think... I we think can we go all over it. Just narrow. All over it next week. All right. Well, next week we'll talk about Bioshock and and some of the underlying whatnots of Bioshock and its its possible evilness. I'll I'll play the what? first yeah. one some more because possible I... evil crazy hell. <laughs> I got the first one, so we will have something to talk about there. I want to get the old play? ones. I okay. get the old ones. So... you haven't played the old ones. No. Oh. So Kate's was a comment or a question? Just a comment? This was just a, a comment. It was a standalone, though. Just I mean, comment. it is, but like it's. Just, I can't say anything. Otherwise. It's a standalone. Spoilers. That's why I said it's okay. I'll play this one because I haven't played the other ones. And oh, no, you don't nice have thing. to play the other ones to like get that game. And that's I the think nice I, thing about it. But one it. and two, one and two tie together, though, right? Yes, they yeah. tie together. Yeah, really one and two, together. you have to kind of yeah. And maybe 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 later in the week I'll get it, and maybe I'll do all the playthroughs. There you on go. my normal channel in our DJ Boom Body. If you pre-ordered it, you should have Bioshock One. Oh, that was if you got it on Steam, though. I did not pre-order it because I just was able to get it today. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're not well, even very far. Uh, I am at the Hall of Heroes. Okay. Well, finish comments. Well, I hijacked this. I don't. I've oh, never yeah. heard of this game. Boom Body might have. This was, it was comments by Hellhounds. This question more or less. Have you ever heard of slash played Perfect World International? Perfect World International. Yes, as we, in Perfect yes, World, right? I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah. Perfect World. Perfect World's awesome. I love Perfect World. You can come play with me. I think you on... can get married. Can't you get no. married in that too? No. So it's. I guess it's an I have MMO. A partner with somebody. It is. It is a. Isn't it a little more like Second Life? No. No. Okay. Shut your Wrong mouth. Game. Shut Wrong your game. mouth. 
So, okay, <laughs> Perfect World, and I, I, did, I think I did a, a, a blog about Perfect World. Perfect World has a very unique system, and it is. Last I checked, it was I think thirty dollars, and I, I will, I will check myself as I'm talking about it. It has a very unique, um, uh, has a very unique play style as far as you have. Uh, you can have up to two weapons out of like nine different weapon types. Um, and basically you get uh, six active abilities and six passive abilities in, within those two weapons that you choose that you're, you have equipped. And you're able to have things like AOEs and targeted abilities and... So it's uh, heavy combat. Oh, it's, oh yeah, it's, it's a combat. It is a combat. It is... Um, yeah, okay. It, it is still thirty dollars, and it's basically it's thirty dollars, and you pay pay once, play forever. P O P F, as uh, Lido would want to say. Um, <laughs> but no, it's it is a really good game. It's it doesn't have uh, it doesn't have a traditional leveling system. Uh, basically, zones are based off of quality one to ten. All, all your normal things are quality one to ten. Like your starting zone is gonna be like quality one to like three. Your next zone is going to be like quality, like three to five, uh, and so on and so on. And there are so many different zones. You go from uh, new, the New England coast. There are three zones in New in the New England coast. There are three zones in Egypt and three zones in Transylvania. Um, I actually haven't even got to Transylvania. I'm still in Egypt, and I'm hitting near. Like I have some pretty good gear. I have quality ten gear, which is the highest uh, until you get to like. The, the epic, uh, the epic raids and stuff. The raids are good. Um, four player, um, four Can player you? instances, uh, and it, it's a lot of fun. You have, you have basically, you have a DPS, you have tank, and you have a uh, healer, and you have range DPS and and melee DPS. Um, and so, it's okay. I mean, that's that's your basic. That's the, whenever you you, those are the three like play styles. Or as far as like as close as you can call a class, either you're a healer, you're a range a range DPS, a melee DPS, or a tank. Hmm. Um, and the storyline is great. A lot of great voice acting. Um, you fight Cthulhu in the first zone. He's the boss of the first zone. That's the sad. first instance. He's well, boss. Well, it's not Cthulhu, but it's a winged uh, oh. tentacle faced. It's a weird sure. tentacle face flying guy. Heavily implied to be Cthulhu. Heavily implied to be Cthulhu. Well, like, and, and without getting too much into it, the reason it's not Cthulhu is because a lot of the um, the mythos for the monsters are, like, Nordic. And it's, like, Erdagath or something. The Erdraug or something, which is which is actually uh, found in, in Norse mythology and whatnot. But, I mean, it's a lot of fun. If you have thirty bucks and you want something that you can go back to at any time, um, and it is, it does have, it does have some microtransactions, but it is all co- a lot of it's cosmetic. There's a couple of, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, a couple of, of content packs that are reasonably priced. But if you're, if you want something with a really great storyline, and the really fun thing is, even if you play through a zone uh, after like. 12 hours for like the first zone you can go back and do all the quests again uh, and you will get the same amount of VXP and basically you get points to spend in um, your abilities like your weapon abilities and then you get points to spend in uh, your stats which like you get points and you'll say spend points in like uh, your whatever type of, of, of item you can wear. And that'll give you a, bu- a buff of health, or that'll give you a buff of, uh, you know, resist or anything like that. Um, but if anybody wants to know more about Secret World, they can uh, they can message me anytime, and I'll tell them all about it. It's a really fun game. I probably want to do some videos now that i got all my video stuff sorted. Um, really fun game. If you got 30 bucks, it is. I, I recommend it if you have 30 bucks to, to kill on it. Um, pretty fun game. Nice. Well, play on Super Grim. I'm glad there are people who heard of it. I've never heard of it, but it does sound like it's super uh, cool it for is a on free Steam, game. So check it out. Oh, right. well, like it is, pay, pay, pay 30 bucks and get it for life. There you go. Those aren't bad. No. That's, that's a pretty reasonable price considering $60 for games today. Well, I mean, and like I said, there's, there's, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's got a very, very rich storyline. 
Yeah. Well, very short line. Let's whip through these comments. I did want to get to Mad Libs, and we have like five minutes left here. Mad Libs. Uh, um, we got Giant Fan who says. My favorite free-to-play games would have to be Warframe, Planet Side 2, or EverQuest. They're all simple, easy to play, and contain hours of fun. Uh, Silent Killer says my favorite free-to-play game would have to be Team Fortress 2 because it's classic and never gets boring. I I can't get into Team Fortress 2, but I do agree with you. A lot of people feel that way about it. Uh, TF2 is really nice. I think it's that, that we're so far behind the curb, most of us, that yeah. it's... Because, and the thing is, I, and what I hate, I, I like playing Dota. Which Dota is, is kind of, that's really weird because, like, you can go right now and go buy Dota 2, or you can find a friend that has, like, six six free copies to give you. Yeah, everyone has free <laughs> copies of Dota 2. It's ridiculous. Yeah, if you need a copy of Dota 2, I've got a couple of them left. Um, probably going to give them out on, on, on the stream or on videos or something, but uh, if, if, if you message me, I might have an extra one for you. But, no, I mean, and the thing is, like, what I hate about Valve is they, 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 they it's, it's like, they, they game pressure you into spending money. Like, with all, like, because uh, TF2 did it with the man crates and whatnot, the manco crates, where you had to buy a key to unlock the crate and get a random item. Dota does that, too, and I hate it. I hate yeah, it so much. Just that's give too me my risky. Item. Yeah, that's too... Just give me my item. Well, like, I watch Purge. Like, there's a pretty pretty predominant player named Purge, caster named Purge, that plays a lot of Dota 2. And he'll literally do an unboxing video where he um, where he like he gets either state keys or he buys himself like ten keys, and the keys are like like two buck fifty a piece. I'm really? talking about like yeah, if they were like fifty cents and they're like a quarter. That'd be one thing, but we're talking like two fifty a piece, and they're like fifteen dollar items. Fifteen dollar a cosmetic item for like fifteen twenty dollars. Ridiculous. Wow. That doesn't even go on your character. That's like a courier courier uh uh skin or whatever. Fifteen twenty bucks. Or you can get there's even like eighty eight dollar sets of like these are pretty big sets but like there's sets for like fifteen twenty bucks and people are buying them and well, I really wish people wouldn't because I would really rather just play the game and and get my stuff because as you long get as the you get stuff will free bear it, it will continue as yep. long as market will bear it. and but the nice thing is people are doing it and it is making the game better well uh, we really do got to wrap this up sorry to interrupt but uh, and Bree says. Uh, lemonade, lemonade Tycoon. tycoon. What not Lemonade bad. Tycoon? Kind of yeah. lemonade? <laughs> no, not that kind of lemonade. Uh, so then I don't want them. I have a shortish Mad Lib. No peeing in a cup. <laughs> let's let's start with Lido. Mad lead in for we're, Mad we're, Lib. I know it's terrible. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to use P and cup for one of my words. So fantastic! Right now, <laughs> you I use it first. Name of name of girl in the room. <laughs> oh, great! <laughs> That's why I'm starting with Lido. Oh, um, Name of Dan. Him. No, I'm just kidding. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, we can, I don't care. Dan it is. Location. <laughs> no, I was just saying. <laughs> um, Boom body location. Oh, we're going the other way. Oh, yes. uh, inside a cup. Inside a cup, okay. A noun? <laughs> Urine. Urine. <laughs> <laughs> I need an adjective. Uh, urine in inside a cup. Um, <laughs> adjective. Adjective. Uh, how about yellow? Yellow. <laughs> yellow. Of course. A noun. Right in <laughs> a, a noun. Snow. Snow. <laughs> an adjective. Snow. <laughs> Oh, what do you guys see the title of this? <laughs> An adjective? Yes. Golden. Golden. <laughs> Name of guy in room. We know. Um, boom body. <laughs> Still going to leave me as the girl and Jemmy gets away scot-free. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> uh, I need a noun. Oh. A noun. <laughs> boom body. <laughs> Oh, um, I will say, uh, uh, money. Money. A verb ending in ing. Squatting. Squatting. A famous person. <laughs> famous person. Uh, P. B. Herman. 
Pee-wee Herman. <laughs> Time of day. <laughs> Time of day. Time of day there. Boom body. Boom body. Sometime today. Five o'clock. <laughs> Five o'clock. <laughs> okay, and then we need a noun. Followed by an adverb, and then two more nouns, and we're done. Uh, paperclip. Paperclip. Okay, adverb. Squirtingly. <laughs> Is that a word? S no, it's not. Not even close. Oh. Uh, Squirrely. Um. Squ Squirrely. I think Is that'll it? work. All right. Let's okay. try it. A noun, and another noun, and we're done. A noun. Zombie. Zombie, of course. <laughs> and Jimmy. Rubber glove. Rubber <laughs> glove. Okay. This one's called obituaries. Oh, no. Good stuff. Dan Not died this Saturday in a car wreck inside a cup. She was driving a late 90s model urine with a yellow driver when a yellow driver swerved onto her side of the snow, resulting in a golden collision. <laughs> Boombody died on Tuesday afternoon. He was crushed by a money, and he was squatting home. <laughs> or as he was squatting home, sorry. So he was crushed by money as he was squatting home. How does one squat home? <laughs> Pee Wee Herman was murdered Thursday, 5 o'clock, as he walked into the middle of a paperclip robbery. Witnesses say he squirrely tried to take out one of the robbers, but tripped on a zombie <laughs> at which point <laughs> one of the robbers shot him with a rubber glove <laughs> get it <laughs> I like Pee Wee's, Pee -wee's Herman obituary the best. <clears throat> oh that's good alright well we're going over right now thank you everyone for your comments <laughs> if you ever want to leave comments for the show questions anything like that visit everythingnoob.com and hit write us any any yep. comments you have about the show? Anything you want. I don't have to cry because they wrote us last time. Exactly. So, perfect. And we will see you all next week. Next week. Same noob channel, same noob time. Exactly. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you for listening to this installment of the Everything Noob Podcast. Don't miss a live recording of our podcast on twitch.tv slash enoobs, recorded every Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. For information on everything you heard in tonight's show, visit everythingnoob.com and check out the show notes. There you will also find all of our past episodes, host bios, our Twitter feed, and a place to even ask us questions, which we may answer during the show. See you next week, and happy gaming.